this and this is like, it's the same exact thing, right? No, am I wrong? Okay. <laughs> Welcome to today's video. You guys just saw my breakfast. That meal was about 43 grams of carbs, three grams of fat, 20 grams of protein. And I am like, it's a low carb day for me today. So that meal is like a lot of my carbs for the day, but I'm going to work out right now. And usually I like having my carbs before I work out. I like to like have some in me before I actually head to the gym so I can have a good session. Something that I wanted to talk about in this video with you guys today is that I'm officially like six weeks as of today into my cut. And I think I said that a week ago, but I like lied. It was five, this is six, starting seven. This is the point in time where I feel like most people like fall off on like their diet or their program or their plan because it's like a weird transitional phase and in a cut, like for me anyway, where you're, you started making progress in the beginning and maybe it's slowing down. I talked about fat loss plateaus last week. It's hard to like stay motivated within a cut for a lot of people. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you guys some tips talking about how I push through that like motivational, like refining motivation to continue on with whatever you're doing for a longer period of time instead of just falling off like everybody else does. So we're gonna do that, but first I'm gonna go to the gym. I have I have a longer workout today. That's another reason why I like ate a lot this morning. It's only 12 and I had like half of my calories already for the day. I've been doing that lately because I'm getting a little bit more hungry, a little bit more. I skipped my workout yesterday because I had that photo shoot. And then I took a two hour nap and I had like so much stuff to do so I just didn't go to the gym. Today I'm like doubling up on my workout. So yesterday I was supposed to do deadlifts and back. Today I'm supposed to do abs and hit cardio. So we're doing both all of those things today at the gym. I'll show you guys what I do. I'll talk, I'll talk after. Let's go to the gym. <laughs> so for deadlifts, I don't need a whole lot. This is like my, my corner of gym shit. I need a better place to put this. But I have my squat shoes. Don't need those. Don't need these. This is icy hot for my ankle that I don't need anymore. I have bands that I might use today for pull-ups. I'm not gonna take my belt. I haven't been using my belt because I haven't been doing too much low rep stuff because I my program is more like, I'm doing sets of five and sets of 10 right now, so I don't want to use my belt that much. I use it on sets of five for squats, but today I'm doing sets of 10 deadlifts, so I don't need it. And then I might bring these. I don't like using these that much, Versa grips, but they're helpful when you're doing pulling movements, so like back stuff, but with deadlifts, I prefer using chalk because I don't really want to rely on like a grip. So I'm just gonna go find the chalk and then get some water, get some pre-workout, and head to the gym. So on a good day, Brian and I like to wake up. You guys haven't seen him too much in the videos. <laughs> go follow his videos if you want to watch his him on YouTube. We've been trying to wake Whoa. up, huh? Plug, shameless. We've been trying to wake up earlier, so I usually get up at like 6.30 or so now as opposed to 7.30 before. Like, you woke up early first and you're kind of more of an early bird than me. So I like started getting up early. And then I like took Norcadrine already this morning because I love it, along with one coffee and then a decaf coffee because I like coffee and it just tastes good. I don't really need the caffeine when I wake up. I've been waking up really rejuvenated. That being said, I don't need more caffeine right now, so I'll probably just cotton candy high volume with me to the gym. I don't need more stimulants. I'm fine. I'm good to go. <laughs> and I also don't know where my chalk is, so I'm just gonna take the Versa grips unless the chalk's in the car. We'll find out. So I use the Bose headphones for the gym. I absolutely love these headphones. Like they are, they last so long and they charge so well and they're loud enough. I charge them like from when I left my house to when I got to the gym and it's about like a 10, 15 minute drive. Let's like you press this button and hear how much percent it has. I would, I'm gonna guess 60, 40, okay. Still, they're completely dead and now they have 40% and they're gonna last me my entire workout and they charge in like 10 minutes. I'm obsessed with these. I'll link them in the description box for anybody who's interested in getting these, but we're going to the gym. There is like an art event, like literally right out in front of the gym right now. So I don't know how packed it's gonna be.
exercise and then I have to like leave soon so I'm gonna do my cardio and then just head out and I'll do abs tomorrow. I'll do them tomorrow. So I got back from the gym and that workout was very difficult. <laughs> Holy shit. And I was really hungry, so I started eating. I forgot to like show you guys what I was eating and now it looks like a bowl of mush, but I'm gonna just like show it to you and then tell you. So here we have it. So we got spinach, broccoli slaw, there's like riced cauliflower in here, there's some bacon in here, there's some guac in here, and there is some chicken in here. Can't really tell, it looks like a bowl of mush, but it's here. <laughs> this and this is like, it's the same exact thing, right? No, am I wrong? Okay. <laughs> Yep, and that's it. All right, it's gonna be 20 to 16, and we're ready within 10 minutes or less. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> I'm dieting, but he's doing the 10,000 calorie challenge today. Bit of a difference. <laughs> I'm gonna like take you guys through it a little bit. Like his, the whole thing is gonna be on his channel, but this is like my perspective of it. I'm excited. I'm excited. The beginning of the day is gonna be great. He's literally gonna crush it and like, he could probably do it in the morning and then have it done within the first meal, but he's gonna humor everybody and try to do it. 
<laughs> the into we don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna finish, guys. You have to watch the video. <laughs> so I'm eating the bite meals, pancake meal, and he's getting <laughs> strawberry banana pancakes from IHOP. Pancakes, strawberries, Nutella. He had eight total pancakes. There's eight pancakes, and he had a two Big Macs. And two two McGriddles. McGriddles, sorry. Oh, because those are those are breakfast foods. Yeah, yeah. So he's slightly carb delirious at this point, and it's like very funny to watch. He's like, so, he says he's so confident at first, but he's getting full and it's his first meal. So this is funny. This is very relevant to this video. I wasn't planning on doing this part of the video. I was planning on talking about reasons why people fall off track around this time in their diet. This is probably a good reason too. They're friends or family, or there's some sort of reason for them to go enjoy an indulgent food that's a social fun thing. Like this would be fun for me to do with him. Or if you have like a family event to go to and the food and you're like, yeah, I wanna do that. And, and you're just like, you know what? I deserve it. I've been dieting for six weeks now. And then you get out of your caloric deficit and then you backtrack and then you get angry at yourself. So for me, watching this is very fun. And I'm planning on one, doing one myself. Not that soon, but soon. My time will come. Um, that's one of the biggest things that I always think about when I'm like dieting or in a deficit. It's not my time to enjoy the food. Like there's most, most of the year is my time, but the short, the short time period of the year is my time to enjoy less of it because deficit, because goals, because body fat loss. And it's not that long. It's not a long period of time. It's like a quarter of the year maybe. So I will do this eventually, but for now it's fun to watch. <laughs> Uh, we got cookie dough and Oreos last night for his challenge and he ate like half of them last night So we woke up really tired <laughs> okay. Brian and I are at Cheesecake Factory. He's here doing part of his 10,000 calorie challenge He literally slept for like a lot of the morning and he had a bad workout Very bad workout <laughs> He's feeling a little bit better. I'm feeling just fine. I'm at Cheesecake Factory, we're here, and he's looking for the highest calorie thing on the menu. I'm looking for the lowest. <laughs> but literally, like, if you go to the salad menu, there's the regular salad menu at Cheesecake Factory. There's nothing below 1,500 calories, which is absolutely insane. Like, the things that can add up in a salad, like cheese and nut, high calorie dressing and sauces and stuff like that, like, they can just pile on so much shit that it's basically like an open-faced burrito. So, I'm gonna show you guys a few things that of like the lowest calories. So this is the skinny licious menu. There's a lot of stuff like on this menu. I think it's mostly under 500 calories or so, but I would say that a small plate of ahi tuna tartare is only 250. Edamame is 150. Anything like under the, uh, so what I'm getting is the Mexican chicken wrapped tacos. They're 220 calories. I might get something else, but like I'm, I tracked around like 360 calories for this. I had two pieces of this bread. This bread is the best bread ever. Along with that, uh, 280 calories for a tomato, basil, and cheese flatbread, which is great. What else do we got here? So there's like six or seven things that are under 300 calories, which not many people eat under 300 calories meals, but I am currently dieting. And uh, I'm gonna get something small. I'm probably gonna get those, those chicken lettuce wraps because they're actually really freaking delicious. There's a flatbread that sounds really delicious too. It's only 280 calories, so we'll see. So one disclaimer that I have about this skinny delicious menu, it's great and all, it has lower calorie options. Not that every time you go out to eat, you should get a lower calorie option, but again, if you are dieting or you want to eat something lower calorie, this is where the options are. But I don't really like that they call it skinny licious. They should call it healthy licious or like fit licious or something else like that. <laughs> because skinny is not like the best word, I would say. Um, you should aspire to be something more than skinny, but I guess I'm just being one of those easily offended internet people, so I'm just gonna stop being offended now. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I find this so hysterical. Oven roasted broccoli is 220 calories. <laughs> this has to be like basically oil with some broccoli thrown in there. And then also 150 calories for asparagus. Like this is literally oil, which is cool. Like that's, it's fine if you want oil, but just be aware. Spinach sauteed 200 calories. Like that's all just like the added oil onto all these little side dishes. These are my Mexican lettuce wrap tacos. And then this is his burger and fries which is around 1,000 calories or 1,500 total? 1,600. Oh, 1,600. Oh, because the fries are 1,000 and then that's about 600 calories. And this is 260. Anyone on this channel knows how much I love sweet potato fries? Brian just said fuck sweet potato fries. Fuck sweet potato fries. 
Oh, my baby. I'm throwing a temper tantrum right now. <laughs> Zooming in really close on your face. <laughs> oh, all the calories feels. Still got like a third of the cheesecake, oh, like a quarter of the cheesecake left. Positive thoughts. <laughs> honestly, if Brian cannot even get through like 6,000 calories, and I don't think I can do it, honestly. I feel like he eats three, 4,000 a day, and then he, like, I, I feel like if he can't do it, I don't think I can do it, honestly. I don't. He's on his last meal of the day. I finished my last meal like two hours ago, so I'm on some more water for myself. We're gonna have a piece of And he's saying, fuck the pizza. <laughs> uh, I had some bites of the cheesecake. You tracked it though. I did. I tracked a Reese's peanut butter cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Mm -hmm. I made him laugh and it hurts really bad. It's funny. Just deep breaths. Just deep breaths. <sighs> Shift it out in my stomach. <laughs> it does. Where is it going? <laughs> just up and down. Just like it's like breaking it up. You know, like a garbage disposal. <laughs> We're at nine thousand. Stupid food, though. See, I, I think like... everyone says that they eat stupid food, but it's like the high calorie <laughs> food that you're like that you smart. Have, you have to eat, yeah. If it's like sugary candy, you can eat. It's hard to get down. No, it depends on the candy, not like sour gummy worms that like you have to chew for like ten hours to chew, but like M&Ms or like anything that's like easily eatable candy that you can just eat forever or trail mix. I would eat a jar of cookie butter for sure. That's like 2,000 calories. That is way easier to eat than like cheesecake, I think. I could be wrong, I don't know. I think just like the more of the same gets so like... So maybe like... Hard. Small like having meals. variety, yeah, having the variety is key. All right guys, if you're still watching this video, if you're still we're here with me and you haven't clicked out of this video and went to go watch Brian's 10,000 calorie challenge video, what are you even still doing on my video? <laughs> <laughs> and if you guys are still here, it's because you're interested in hearing about the reasons why I think most people fall off around this time, like six, seven weeks into a diet, and that's where I am right now, and I'm just like feeling a little bit like that, so I just wanted to let you guys know that my number one biggest thing is probably because a lot of people don't enjoy the process and realize that the process and like the journey of getting there is what's actually supposed to be enjoyable as opposed to like some big end goal that seems really far away. And if I was just focusing on that, it would like be slightly overwhelming and it would just be like a little bit too much to think about, so I would just be like, screw it. But I'm actually enjoying this whole like dieting process and I'm liking the challenge and I'm enjoying challenging myself and hitting a goal every single day. It's really nice, it, honestly, it's like nice and refreshing and I'm sure Brian feels excited to start his tomorrow. He's like, I'm not gonna eat food for... Anyway, <laughs> I actually enjoy the process and it's really fun for me. So if you're not enjoying it, it might be time to consider doing something different or finding something you actually do like. And number two, I feel like people don't reset and like allow themselves, if you're not contest prepping, like allow themselves to go eat something or do something that's gonna kind of like mentally reset them. So for me, um, every once in a while, it's like a refeed day. Like today I had a high carb day, so I feel like a little bit reset, but mentally I feel like I've been like, I guess like a thinking about like picking at things and like I had some bites of the cheesecake, stuff like that. Whereas normally I'd feel okay with just not doing that stuff. So what I'm gonna do is just implement a free meal this weekend. And I'll talk about free meals versus cheat meals and cheat days and all that stuff next week in next week's video. In order to like mentally reset my mind to be ready to continue and not kind of feel like I'm going a little bit crazy from the dieting, I just wanna have like a meal where I'm not tracking it and it's I haven't had that my whole entire cut because I haven't felt like I needed it, but this is like when I feel like I need it. 
and that's a good gauge for you guys too to figure out like when you feel like you need one of those because it's not necessary every single week um but i think for mentality to continue on through a cut or continue on to reach a goal you need to take one step back to take two steps forward and for me this is going to be that for me because i have like six weeks left after this weekend until it's like over so after like i know i want to like push a little bit harder after that like after i come back from toronto this weekend i'll be in toronto with bodybuilding.com so excited for the expo so if you guys are going to be there comment below i'm so excited to meet you guys and i'll probably have like a free meal that i'm just not tracking that weekend so that's what i'm gonna do and i hope you guys enjoyed this video found it valuable took something away from it and let me know if you did in the comments section if you guys again haven't left this video already you might not still be watching if you are let me know give the video a thumbs up and comment below i love you guys for still watching <laughs> and i'll catch you guys in the next video